Hello everyone, Bill After here for the After Chat with one of my dearest friends who I've known forever in the business. And as they call you, good old JR, thank you for being here on the After Chat. Thank you, Bill. Bill, always good to see you. Always good to see you, too. And we go, you know what, we go so far back to the days when I always talked about uh, when you worked for Bill Watts and you used to call in the results every week to yeah. all the shows. There was no internet back then. Right. <laughs> yeah, so thank God. Thank I, I don't bother, it don't hurt my feelings that there was no internet back then. I'm not so sure the internet's our best friend right now, but it is what it is. It and is you, you live with it or you live without it. I always tell people that if there was internet back in the days of uh, like the Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra, oh, and man. They, those guys would have been in jail every day. Yeah, they would have been gone. Their image would have been tarnished. Oh, of course. So recently, of course, your uh, contract ended with uh, WWE. You had so many great positive years at WWE. Tell us to you, what was the most satisfying part of that part of your career? I think I think uh, being in a job that allowed me to provide an opportunity for a lot of talents to grow and to become bigger than they ever dreamed, make more money than they ever dreamed they would make, to solidify their futures financially, uh, those things probably were as uh, memorable to me that as calling a big match, a WrestleMania or something like that. I So I, I, I like that aspect of working with talent. Is there one match during your WWE career that if you keep going over in your head and saying that was my best night? No, unfortunately, I'm a, my worst critic in the world. I, I believe that I, I remember some of the, the downers I had. Uh, Flair and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 24, I felt like we all could have done a much better job in that match considering it was Nature's last match uh, in WWE at that time. Uh, but the, you know, the most memorable match is when Undertaker threw Foley off the hell in a cell. Uh, the most, uh, one of the most discussed matches nowadays seems to be the, the uh, Rock and uh, Hogan match from WrestleMania 18 because they changed roles. Oh my God, that was incredible because the fans turned on the Rock completely. Yeah, they didn't like the Rock for whatever reason because they liked Hogan more. Yeah, they didn't smell what Rock was cooking that. I did not. So, but the, you know, I, I came along at the right place, right time, Bill. WrestleMania 13 was Stone Cold and, and Bret Hart. You know, Undertaker and Shawn, WrestleMania 25. You know, Austin, I have called three Austin Rock main events at WrestleMania 17, 19, uh, 15, 17, and 19. But I could not ask for a better run than I had in WWE. It's a blessing. And now, a new career starts for you. All Elite Wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, the world has been buzzing about this for such a long time and wondering who they were going to uh, bring in. And when I heard that you had signed with them, I said not just broadcasting-wise, but you know the business end of this better than anyone. You've been talent relations. You've done everything. So tell us how this happened and what you're looking forward well, to. Well, I met Tony Khan about two years ago. He came to Long Beach to go to the uh, Access uh, TV's presentation of New Japan, the two days we had back-to-back -back in Long Beach. Uh, so I met Tony Khan there as a fan. I didn't know him any more than as a wrestling fan. And he was with my old friend Alex Marvez, and uh, they were buddies. So they came from Florida to California to go to that show and spend the weekend. That's where I met Tony Khan two years ago. And uh, we had started off a little relationship since then, and and then all of a sudden it grew to where he had an interest in, in building a company. And uh, luckily for those of us in the business, uh, he has the funding and the capital to make it happen. So uh, I'm really excited about it, Bill. they got some good young kids that are running it. You know, Cody, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, all those kids Chris are... Jericho, that other kid. Yeah, oh, yeah, the other kid. Yeah, yeah he's a kid. He thinks he's a kid. He still he wrestles like a kid. But they got a real good cross-section of talent. Young, old, uh, everybody's hungry. It's a new opportunity. Uh, and, you know, the... the People say, well, is it going to be another Monday Night War? Absolutely not. There's nobody can compete with WWE. And anybody that thinks that they can, is, they're, they're hallucinating. I told this to the guys at AEW from the get-go. Our goal should be to focus extremely hard on what we do, what we can control, and that's it. And whatever WWE does or anybody else, Ring of Honor, Impact, whatever, 
wish them the best and move on. See, I tell people when they ask me, is this going to be competitive? And I tell them the same thing you do. And I said, it's two different parts of the business. One is more of the sports entertainment end and AEW concentrating more on the pro wrestling end. That's how I understand it, Bill. That's what I understand. I'm not sure that, what shape that's going to take uh, specifically, but that's kind of how I feel it's going to be. And uh, So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm a wrestling fan, always will be. I like I like telling the stories at ringside and doing the play-by-play -play and getting talent over, telling telling the explaining what's going on. And So I'm lucky I'm back in my wheelhouse. Well, I'm, I'm so glad to see you again. And like, how many years have you been in the business now? Since 74. Wow, so you started uh, four years after I did and your enthusiasm and I don't know how it with both of us at our young ages yeah. we get more enthusiastic every time something like this happens yeah, caffeine yeah huh? Starbucks Ma no mine is sparkling ice <laughs> super low okay so for Jim Ross and Bill Actor and I can't wait to see how this takes Thanks, shape Bill. we will see you at the matches we will